This is Radio Romania International broadcasting from Bucharest. Radio Romania International Inside Lopedia. The first medical institution in Bucharest was established by Boyer Mihai Katakuzima in 1704. Its name was the Kota Hospital. A hundred years later, another hospital was established in Bucharest. A modern institution for its time, the Philanthropia Philanthropy Hospital. It was mainly tailored for the needy, hence its name, Philanthropia. Today, the medical establishment is one of the capital city's landmarks in terms of medical standards. The hospital boasts the oldest maternity and one of the leading obstetrics and gynecology centers. It is also a period listed building. It was started with a physician school in the West, who was keen on contributing to the building of a new country. With the details of that, here is historian Azir Masul. His name was Constantin Karakash. He was of Aromanian origin and was fresh from his studies abroad, returning to a very complicated country, back then known as Wallachia, which was under Ottoman sovereignty. It all happened somewhere around 1800, and Karakash was returning to an almost exclusively oriental city, Bucharest, that is, where the word Shusta, road, didn't even exist in the urban vocabulary, not to mention medical or healing terms. Nevertheless, for that time, we can see a reforming class of boyars emerged, and they oftentimes use their fortune as a... So, uh, this is Radio Romania International through North America, 73-75 kilohertz. Uh, received on that Chinese uh, SDR, DSP receiver with the touch screen. I've uh, been enjoying using it still. Um, it's a very interesting device. So here I'm using it on telescopic. So you see it receives Radio Romania real well. But be wary that when you use it on in uh, telescopic, you see here, this line here is internal noise. So you got to just make sure that, you know, the signal you're listening to is not... Um, by chance on the same as that noise, internal noise here. If that internal noise would be on the same frequency, I would not even be able to listen to the station. So, uh, kind of nice, and uh, once again, I'm going to show you uh, with DSP. You'll notice DSP has noise on it. Uh, regular, uh, sorry, not DSP, but the regular receiver um, has noise on it. And uh, when I press the noise reduction button, you'll see the noise goes away. The audio does sound a little warbly. People were saying like it's like you know hearing sound through bubbles. It's the price of using noise reduction because it's you know electronically made by the circuit, but it's still pretty impressive when you think about it, especially for the price of this little device. So 73, 75 kilohertz shortwave, Radio Romania on the Chinese uh, SDR DSP receiver. Very close to the city's northern barrier. Subsequently, behind the hospital, on the greenfield where even a peripheral neighborhood came into being, a slum, Mahala, as it was known back then, a place of dubious reputation and with a lowly social status. However, the slum, Mahala, had its charm, and in time it got developed. Yet, very few things today speak of its distant past. Save for the Philanthropia Hospital, obviously. Historian Adrian Major wants to go. I don't think it will start to have a quick drink. Dumitru Karakash. It was basically an uninhabited area at the time when Dumitru Karakash initiated his project. Only a fountain could be found there, built by the ruling prince Mavroge some two years prior to the building of the hospital proper, and where in time a church was built, also named Mavroge. After the hospital was completed, somewhere around 1833, the first segment was built at the road known as Kisa Left today. Back then, it lay on the outskirts of the city and was designed as an area for promenade or relaxation. The inhabited slum La 